Hey guys, welcome back. Today I am filming a what I eat in a day video and I normally don't like filming these just because YouTube is so oversaturated with them, especially in the vegan community. But a lot of you guys are very curious about what I eat on my new diet. If you don't know, I follow a lower carb diet. Would I consider it completely low carb or keto? Absolutely not. I still eat carbs. I still eat vegetables and starchier vegetables, which which are technically very carby. Got a lot of people in my last What I Ate in a Day they're like, this isn't low carb, blah, blah, blah. It's lower carb for me. I used to eat so many fucking potatoes, rice, bananas, and now I'm not eating any of that. I mean, I eat sweet potatoes sometimes and I'll have regular potatoes or Idaho potatoes every once in a while. It's very rare. I don't normally eat bananas that much and I usually don't ever eat rice unless it's brown rice and unless it's in like rice paper form or something like that. But but um, yeah, so it's lower carb for me. Lower, I think I should put that in the title because people just freak out. It's low carb for most vegans out there. A lot of them just stuff their face with all the potatoes and rice and all that shit. And if that's working for you, great, that's amazing. Do you, boo. If you wanna see more a day-to-day -day basis on what I eat, follow me on Instagram. I post every day or every other day. I take you along with me, show you what I do during my day, what I'm eating, the products that I love, and stuff like that, more lifestyle stuff. So if you're into that, you should definitely follow me on there. And I post some pretty epic food porn. And I have a pretty busy day ahead. In about an hour, I'm going to church. And then after that, I'm meeting with a potential meal prep client. I'm a personal chef, in case you didn't know. And then after that, I'm gonna hit up the gym. We just joined a gym really close by in our neighborhood, and I'm super excited about it. And then after that, I think I might go grocery shopping. So you might see a grocery haul. I don't know, we'll see, we'll play it by ear. Don't hold me to that. First things first, I drink a lot of water in the morning. Room temp, really cold water is not good for your digestion. I used to drink really cold water in the morning and it was horrible. First of all, it was freezing. It's really cold here in California right now. It's like 50 degrees every day, which is very cold for Southern California. And um, yeah, I just was like shivering sometimes drinking this cold water. Even during the summertime, I don't know, I can just drink more water when it's room temperature. What do you guys think? Are you more of a room temp water person or a super cold, you need that shit to be like liquid ice. I just get too cold with really cold water. Anyway, let's get down to business. I'm gonna show you what I'm eating in three, two, one. So today I'm gonna make a matcha latte and the matcha powder that I use is from the Matcha Reserve. I will leave a link in the description if you wanna give it a go. And I'm also adding maca powder, lion's mane mushroom powder, which is all natural, made from mushrooms. No, it does not get you high. It's really great for your brain. It keeps you super focused and energetic throughout the day. I have been loving it. And I also add in a teaspoon of coconut butter. I'm also making some avocado toast and I've been trying to be as gluten-free as possible. So the bread that I have been loving lately is from the Northern Bakehouse. It's vegan and gluten-free and it is so good. You should check it out. Okay guys, here's the final product. We got kimchi avocado toast topped with some hemp seeds, a little bit of mixed green salad, and I topped it with the Trader Joe's green goddess dressing, which is really good, and then leftover tofu scram. I have a recipe for this in one of my videos. I will leave it in the link below. I forget which one it is. I think it's my weekend routine video. But anyway, here's what I'm eating for breakfast along with my... Wow, can you stop yawning? Jesus. Along with my matcha latte. Hey guys, so it's lunchtime. It's about 12.30 and I'm gonna make some Vietnamese summer rolls. One of my all time favorite things to eat. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you know what I mean. So I've already cut my veggies. I've marinated and roasted my tofu and I made my peanut sauce. I have a whole recipe video on how I make these. I will leave the link down in the description box below. This peanut sauce is life-changing. It's so good. I put it on everything. It's really good over like steamed broccoli, um, but it's super good on anything Asian, of course, because it's an Asian peanut sauce. But with these spring rolls slash summer rolls, whatever you want to call them, they are so bomb. Okay, so I'm going to put them together now and eat my lunch.
Okay, so these are the uh, spring roll wrappers I'm using. They're from Whole Foods and they're brown rice, which I'm super excited about. Normally I've only used the white rice ones. I think the white rice ones look better in pictures, but if you don't really care about that, I definitely recommend these. I'm a huge fan, so I'm gonna soak these and then stuff them. Yeah. Okay, so here's my food. We have like five summer rolls, steamed broccoli. I probably won't eat all of these summer rolls. And then I have some peanut sauce and a little bit of Trader, jo Trader Joe's soyaki. And it's, ac oh, shit. it's actually what I marinated the tofu in. So good. I usually make my own marinades for tofu, but if you're in a pinch, amazing. Great stuff. And then I have my sparkling grapefruit water to drink, and I'm drinking it straight out of the bottle because that's how I roll. And that's my lunch. I definitely could not finish it all. I had three of the spring rolls and then part of the broccoli. I'm gonna give the rest to Tim. Just got out of my meeting and now I'm having a little snack. I brought some oatmeal with me. This is the same oatmeal that I made in my last What I Eat In A Day video. I think it was a couple months ago. They are chocolate berry oats and they are life changing, my favorite ever. And I'm just sitting here in my car enjoying this beautiful, beautiful view. Are you ready? That is the Pacific Ocean. I'm just chilling here on a street in some super bougie neighborhood looking at the Pacific Ocean. I love California. Hey guys, so several hours later, just got back from the gym. I went straight beast mode there. So I'm starving now and I took Tuck on like a 30 minute walk. So mama's ready to eat. I got some leftovers here that I meal prep for the week. We got cauliflower rice, this like filling that I did for a recipe video that will be coming out soon. It's like barbecue jackfruit and roasted corn. And then some black black beans that I prepped, homemade black beans, and just some romaine lettuce because I need to eat it up. Uh, so yeah, that is what I'm eating. I think the only other thing I'm gonna eat is maybe like a cup of peppermint tea. I really love peppermint tea at night. And maybe some, something sweet. I have, um, I have this Lara bar. It's the chocolate chip cookie dough one. Yeah, I'm probably gonna have this for dessert as well. So that's the only other thing I will be eating today. Just some peppermint tea and this guy. I hope you guys enjoyed this What I Eat a Day video. And let me know any other video topics that you want me to cover, things that you want me to talk about, just sit down and talk about, or uh, any cooking videos, any video ideas. I am open for the suggestion, so hit me up. Wow, my hair though. Real life. I mean, this is what my hair looks like after... I get sweaty and I work out. Hope you guys have an amazing week. Don't forget to take care of yourself, eat good food, and I will see you in the next one.